Hello everyone, I am the Grand Cat and welcome to another Grand Cat review. In the last video, we looked at the 4-inch Dr. Eggman, who is sitting over there, who I think is a little bit of a better scale than the 2-inch one. And today we're going to be doing a uh, Badniks special. I said forgetting the name of Badniks. So, we're going to start off with crab meat, which is our unboxing video. So, of course, crab meat was in the original uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 1 in Green Hill Zone. Crab meat along with Motobug. Uh, you can get the classic tails in the set. The, the modern Metal Sonic and the modern Sonic. He has six points of articulation, which is very impressive for a crab. It doesn't really do much, so let's see exactly what he looks like. Let's jump into this. Of course, it, the packaging has the classic Sonic uh, imaging on it, rather than the modern one. And there he is, so he's quite a small little figure, but let's see exactly what he does. We can get him out of his containment. And there we go. Okay, so let us see exactly what crab meat does. Let's put it in the packaging. It goes over there. So, um, crab meat, what you do, do, do? Oh! Oh, so all four of his legs actually have posability. Uh, the eyes don't, the eyes are stationary. But the claws move as well. So I think they are... I don't think... Oh, these, these are... All, all four of the legs are all, all on ball joints. That's actually very, very cool. This is um, a lot nicer than what I was expecting. Can we move these ones down a bit more so that he can kind of stand upright a bit? Sort of. What if we rotate these legs back a little bit more? There we go. Yeah. So by doing something like that, by moving the legs back a bit more this way, then he stands kind of looking a bit more upright. This is actually very, very cool. So what other bad nicks do we have to look at? Well, we have the Motobug, which was also from Jack's Pacific. Of course, the Motobug is very, very famous as being the first uh, enemy that you come across in uh, Sonic. He has a little movability in his little claws there. He actually has a moving wheel, which is very, very cool to see. Um, and the way that that wheel stops is you've got a little hole uh, right there. And he comes with this little stand that just attaches underneath the, the little part there and then that just locks in and then that's how you keep your motobug upright and of course um, with the motobug we also as well as the uh, Jack specific one we have the Jazzwares motobug now this one is entirely stationary it doesn't move at all and the colors are you know much much darker for this one you know he's a lot more colorful in the other version so it's very cool to see the Jack Specific versions. I think the Jack Specific version put a lot more love into the Bad Nicks than what the Jazzwares one did. Um, in terms of more Jazzwares, we of course have the Spider, I've forgotten his name, but he was in the Chemical Plant Zone. Uh, he would come down and grab you. This one is entirely stationary as well, but it's got it's very, very well moulded. It's got a very, very cool sculpt going on there, and lovely um, paint detail on him as well. We also have the Buzz Bomber, which was based off of the Sonic, um, was it Sonic Colors? It was one of the modern Sonic games, but of course um, he looks very, very different to how he did in the original classic games. But one of the cool things about this Buzz Bomber is his body rotates and you can actually rotate it all the way around so that you can have him, you know, in a kind of flying position rather than in the attacking position, you know, with the gun outwards like that. The wings also move. Uh, the head doesn't move, but instead the little jets uh, have movement ability as well. And he stands with a little hole there, a little stand there, and that just clips up just like so. And there we go. Um, we have some more bad nicks. We have, 
from the movie, the little buzz bomber. Uh, I don't have the other one of this. Uh, I mean, I do have it, it's upstairs, but I didn't bring it down because I just wanted to show off just one from the movie uh, rather than make this an extremely long video. Um, of course, we're talking about Dr. Bonnick's inventions. Then we have to talk about the Egg Robo, which was obviously built and designed to look like him, which was Knuckles' main boss in the Sonic and Knuckles version of the game. When you play as Knuckles, instead of fighting Robotnik, you fight one of these guys that uses all of Robotnik's um, egomatics. So you fight the same bosses, but they're a little bit different. And actually, Knuckles' playthrough is a little bit harder as well. Um, and Knuckles' end boss is the Metal Sonic Mark III. I think it's Mark III. I don't think it's Mark II. Um, which is you fight in Sky Sanctuary. Uh, Sonic also fights him, but Knuckles fights the super version of him. And unfortunately, this one, uh, this Egg Robo, he has a real issue with standing. The only move ability he has is arms, and the only move forward and backwards. They don't rotate, they don't have any move ability. There's no movement whatsoever in the legs. Unfortunately, the backpack is really, really heavy, so he's just always going to fall backwards, like so. Super Sonic not agreeing with that. Let's try and get Super Sonic to stand again. Okay, he's in refusal. And this gun, although this is this hand is positioned like this, the gun just really doesn't want to sit in there. Like, it'll sit in briefly, but it'll fall right back out. And you can have the gun down, but, like, his arm is too weak to actually hold it upwards, and he just doesn't stand, which is very, very annoying for anyone that has ever tried to pose these guys. Thankfully, we are getting another... Um, Egg Robo uh, soon. He is going to be the 4 inch range so he's going to be the same kind of height as Robonic which is good because that's the height that he's supposed to be. He's supposed to be about the same size as Robonic. So there we go. We have Supersonic back to standing once again. Unfortunately Egg Robo is just going to... Oh my god! Supersonic! Why? I really hate the legs of the Supersonic. I, I said it in the video um, when I was reviewing him but that has not changed. It is still a massive problem. He just... Why why did they do this with us? Like, why for Supersonic? Which is one that I was waiting for for so long. <laughs> and it, it, he doesn't stand. He, he's very, very pernickety in the way that he stands. He'll stand right in front of the camera, but he won't stand anywhere in the background. He just refuses. Okay, there we go. I think we've got it. Um, in terms of other uh, bad nicks, we have Coconuts the Monkey, which is from Toy Island. I believe he came as... I think he came as a two-part with the Toy Island Dr. Bonnick, who I've also got upstairs, I'll have it downstairs with me. But um, at some point in the future, maybe we'll do a collection of Dr. Bonnicks and show that off. So there we go, there's our Coconuts the Monkey. Um, and while we're talking about Dr. Bonnick's creations, uh, we can't go without naming his greatest creation, of course, Metal Sonic or Metal X. And we have um, two different versions of the classic one. Um, the first four, the first four figures version, which I think is the nicest version released so far. Um, there's modern, modern uh, Metal Sonics. <laughs> he said losing the ability to speak once again, and some of the modern Metal Sonics are really, really cool as well. But in terms of the classic Metal Sonics with this slightly larger head and this slightly smaller body. This, I think, is the coolest one to go for. I really love the paint job, I like the shininess of it, and everything about it is just fantastic. Even just the pose that he's in is exactly the way that he looked in Sonic CD. Um, but, right, let us just pause the video for just a second and we will bring out the gimmick. And there we have all of the lovely badniks, with the exception of the Death Egg Robo, who refuses to stand all nicely rotating around there. So you can see, this isn't all the ones that are released, there's a few other ones. There's the Caterpillar that I don't have, that came with the Knuckles, that was part of the Jazzware lines. Um, Motobug came with Classic Sonic, the... I think his name was Spinner Rack? No, Spinner Rack I think is Pokemon. <laughs> the Spider came with Classic Tails, and the Caterpillar came with Classic Knuckles. And I think there's a couple of other ones as well that I might be missing, but these are the ones that I have readily on hand. 
But um, as we are talking about Dr. Robonic's greatest creations, we have two other great creations to look at that we're going to have to do an unboxing video of. Now, if you'll remember in a few videos uh, past, a few videos past, that's not English, a few videos ago, I said that Sonic CD was in development before Sonic 2, but Sonic 2 actually released first on the Mega Drive before Sonic CD came out because of how long it took to make the CD games. And that means that technically, this guy predates Metal Sonic, and that is going to be our next video. So that is something to look forward to. And then after we've done that, we have one more video to do in terms of the classic Sonics, and that is of course the very end boss of Sonic the Hedgehog 2, the Death Egg Robot. So please look forward to seeing that. And if you enjoyed this video, please give us a like, share and subscribe. If you are subscribed, make sure you click that notification icon so you can see when more of these videos go out. And we will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.